So why wasn't Vegeta able to overcome it in his blue form? When he went blue during his fight, he wasn't able to exert even one-tenth of his usual strength. Blue is not a transformation that can be done over and over again in succession. The amount of stamina it consumes makes it a detriment in that regard. So the short of it is Goku's god form is stronger than Vegeta's blue was back then, and it now surpasses Hit's current power level. I leave anything out? Mm, that about sums it up. What is up guys, Blackscape here, and today I have a video that shows some light on a transformation that a lot of you guys were not aware was in the manga, because a lot of you guys believe this transformation is actually only anime specific. Now, there are a ton of anime specific anime only things that doesn't cross over into the manga, but this transformation is not one of them. So if you know which transformation I am talking about, let me know in the comment section below and where this transformation shows up in the manga. See if you got it right. Watch the whole video and see if you got it correctly. And as always, huge shout out to the Black Squad. Thank you guys so much for being here, liking and commenting. You guys are the best. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So Super Saiyan Blue is a transformation that on its own, in its original state, what we saw of it in the Resurrection of F storyline, it essentially sucks. Yes, it grants its users immense strength and God strength at that. It is essentially using the Super Saiyan God transformation, at least its key, and mixing it in with your Super Saiyan transformation, but there are already huge problems with the Super Saiyan transformation on its own. Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 all have this stamina problem, going even worse into Super Saiyan 3, even though you get basically what back then were the powers of gods, your power doesn't last very long, and it lasts even less in the Super Saiyan Blue transformation, which is actually infused with God Key. This is why a lot of people in the fandom have stated that Super Saiyan God is the stronger of the two, or is the one that they like to see more of, because this one is stable. It's got a lot of different properties that we don't see in Super Saiyan Blue, and it is really, really interesting. I mean, it has a whole healing factor. It is by far one of the coolest transformations, and I think one of the reasons that Goku and Vegeta kind of use it here and there, it's because it's still extremely useful. It is the base for Super Saiyan Blue, but Super Saiyan Blue, again, is just extremely flawed on its own. But unlike Goku, Vegeta actually broke through the limits of Super Saiyan Blue and went into a completely different plane well before Goku was even there. And that is, of course, I'm talking about Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. This is a transformation that we really only saw once in the anime, and it was when Goku and Vegeta both powered up and Goku used Kaioken to double, triple, quadruple his Super Saiyan Blue into dangerous levels. Like what he is doing is probably way more reckless than just being in Super Saiyan Blue or even anything else because he is just putting so much exertion on his body by doing that. It is by far the inferior way of pumping up Super Saiyan Blue. It's the artificial way while Vegeta with his own pride pumped up and broke through those limits going into this dark blue big bulky version of Super Saiyan Blue that is called Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. And this transformation has gotten new attention because it is in Sparking Zero. It is one of Vegeta's transformations even being on the cover of the game. It's right here and I mean this design versus the original design I mean you can tell depending on the artist depending on who's drawing it like it just looks so much better but you guys would probably be shocked if I told you that this is not an anime only transformation. This transformation actually makes its way in the manga. And honestly, I'm surprised that I didn't catch it earlier. I, I had to really dive into the manga itself and find the moment that Vegeta switched into the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. After seeing the success that Goku was having against Jiren and Vegeta, 
not even being able to fight against not even a Hakaya Shintopo. Vegeta has another moment of retrospection. He says, I can't stand it. How many times must this happen? He's over there, breaking into uncharted territory. Will I struggle against my opponent? Enough of this. I'm... I'm better than that! <sighs> What's up with Vegeta? His whole aura has changed. This is the moment that Vegeta goes into Super Saiyan Blue. It's the same exact thing, very similar actually to what happened in the anime, where Goku is pushing his limits, Goku is using Kaioken to beef up Super Saiyan Blue, and they're both about to face off against Jiren, who hasn't even broken a sweat against any of them, and so Vegeta needed to push past himself to keep the promise he had made to Kaba, and himself, and his universe, and he broke through his own limits, and once he broke beyond his own limits, he's able to use all the power of Super Saiyan Blue, minus the stamina drain. There is no stamina drain in this version of Super Saiyan Blue because of what he's able to do against Topo here in a little bit. And that's the similarity, where in the manga, Vegeta explodes essentially into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and pushes Topo onto one of these rocks to basically knock him out of the tournament. Vegeta, even though he did this against Jiren in the anime, he actually uses the stamina boost that he gets from Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to basically commit a Majin Vegeta and explode, taking out Topo, a Hakaya Shin Topo with him and still managing to survive because he had the superior version of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. It would be the same thing as having Super Saiyan 3 with the original Saiyan transformations without any of the stamina loss. Now, if you still don't believe me, just by Beerus' words alone, who does say that, yes, this aura that Vegeta has right now is different than what he had before, and obviously Super Saiyan Blue Evolution's aura is darker, a darker blue. Well, believe this, this is the cover to the chapter that Toyotaro made and yeah, he used just for this cover the dark blue colors of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Even though Vegeta's not as bulky as he was in the anime, he still has that dark blue color because he is basically using the ultimate version of Super Saiyan Blue at that time. And that's why after this moment, we see that Vegeta and Goku face off against different characters like Moro, Granola, and just various different opponents in Dragon Ball in Super Saiyan Blue and they aren't really complaining about the stamina loss because they are now in this more mastered version of Super Saiyan Blue called Evolution that really isn't said that it is Evolution in the manga but it is what it is. Now there was only one more path to really control Super Saiyan Blue in the manga and really bypass something that was happening to them while they were exerting so much ki, and that is the excess loss of ki that was protruding out of their body. Like, when they were powering up, when they were fighting, they were losing so much of that ki coming from their body that they weren't using that really strong version, that evolution version of Super Saiyan Blue, to their fullest and of course I'm saying both Goku and Vegeta in this because Vegeta and Goku seem to be on par with each other in the manga itself at least in the Super Saiyan Blue transformation and I say this wholeheartedly so confidently because of the fact that Goku never goes into that Kaioken to kind of artificially fix it so he does get a boost instead of just breaking through his own barriers so I would say that they are both evolution coming out of the Torment of Power. And so the last thing they really needed to do was just use all the key that they produce, and that is where this controlled Super Saiyan Blue version comes from, where both Goku and Vegeta are able to bring in all the key into their body. Even though it's dangerous, even though it puts a strain on their body, it makes them far stronger and basically able to manage the key that they're using far better in managing that stamina even though they've already broken through the ceiling of being able to not have so much stamina loss they're still using and losing stamina by using this transformation even if it's a little bit but now with this controlled state 
they can use it so much better. And it's obvious this is the ultimate version of Super Saiyan Blue because this is the version that Vegeta uses against Beerus where he actually lands a hit on Beerus. So I do think that Toyotaro was trying to show us that Vegeta had broken through the ceiling and not really giving us much more information on Goku doing it, but basically hinting that, yeah, they're past this point in the Super Saiyan Blue challenge where they're losing stamina or that Super Saiyan God is stronger at certain levels because if you're not using Super Saiyan Blue effectively then God is going to be way stronger and so he is doing this just by the cover and by having Beerus's reaction and I think that he didn't want to go the full route of making essentially what becomes a blue version of Super Vegeta from the Cell arc because that's exactly what this design looks like looks like Super Vegeta but blue and I think the reason they did this in the anime because at the time they already had a difference in the way that Goku looked when it came to having the blue and the Kaioken mixed together and in this they, they needed something to show that Vegeta was breaking through and looking a little bit different and that's exactly what they did so that's why that design is in the anime and that's why the design has now gone into Sparking Zero and in the manga, it's more of, yeah, it's just a stronger blue. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. Did you guys know that that Super Saiyan Blue was in the, in the manga? And will you play that version of Vegeta in the game? Let me know in the comments section below. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.